everybody, for today's game, we're playing Jax in the top lane with the new Lethal Tempo buffs here on the PB. And uh, it's pretty crazy. So Lethal Tempo already at level 1 is stronger than the previous iteration of Lethal Tempo. Because it trades the on-hit damage. Or sorry, it trades the attack range for the on-hit damage. Which the on-hit damage, especially for a champion like Jax who has multiple auto resets, he's got the attack speed stirred in his kit is a prime candidate for being just absolutely broken um you know with this room so we'll get a small trade here and we'll uh bake Isante into an all-in i mean we do have uh we do have a lethal tempo guys i mean this this is pretty gross I mean, look at this damage he literally has to flash he has to flash or he's just actually dead 36% attack speed, plus the attack speed that I'm getting from my passive, 28%. I mean, I I'm getting like 700 plus golden stats, plus the unhit damage. That's crazy. So, they do have Briar Jungle. So, again, this guy's flash super early is pretty good. Like, my Shivana is clearing towards top side. It's good for us. So one thing we gotta worry about, uh, Kesante, is him being able to just bring us back into the turret. So uh, we'll play chill for a sec. We can just TP. Guys, chasing us down quite a bit. We should be able to TP before this guy can uh, come back, right? Yeah, so we'll build towards uh, Trinity. He did get us into turret. That's like the the one thing Kisante can do in this matchup that can mess us up. He gets that combo into turret, especially if he had a Q3. Along with that, is just uh, a very bad position. But we've got Wave in an awesome position here. So we can set up Shivana. Looks like Shivana's taking a tempo back. Uh, that's completely acceptable. She could just go and just absolutely full clear again. Gonna freeze this wave. Looks like Kisante didn't take the, uh, the teleport. Maybe had vision on uh, the Shivana. Decided not to risk it. Alright, I'm gonna build up my attack speed from my passive, and then we can start building up attack speed from lethal. Remember, I've got lethal attack speed here. I mean, this is just nuts. Look at that damage I'm able to just output. We could just force the issue into Kisante. Now, that being said, he has a uh, cloth armor there, so a lot of my um, on hit damage is um, physical for the time being. You can go something like Nashers, and if you get your adaptive force into being magic damage, then you start doing magic damage. So you legit could do like Nasher's on hit jacks, go like AP jacks, and then your lethal tempo also becomes magic damage on hit. So pretty interesting thought, especially for a matchup like Malphite or something. Uh, could be just nuts. So since we're taking like all wins, I'm kind of down for Phage, and I'll buy refill pot just for any kind of uh, short trades he gets into us before we're able to set the all in. And that kind of all is what we're looking for. Just straight brute forcing it. So, like, our lethal tempo uptime compared to, like, him having grasp. Like, exactly what we want. So, I mean, grasp got pretty good early game, but the lethal tempo scaling with the on hit for a champion like Jax with attack speed steroid and uh, having the auto reset is crazy. So, now we're about to hit six. Oh man, I looked at the ward for a second. Lost the cannon. Got a good amount of damage there. And if we hop back on him with the lethal tempo still stacked, that's where Jackson really views it. So if you you know lead in, you Q in, you auto attack W, you hold your counter strike, you stun, and then you walk away. 
but then you're able to hop back in with your low cooldown on your leap strike and just keep your lethal tempo stacks up that's uh, something you can do so always be paying attention to your your passive and your lethal tempo stacks if you can hop back in after disengaging a trade with lethal tempo stacks up and your cooldowns back up definitely you should So now we've got the wave and just uh, amazing spawn. So they got dragon. We got uh, we got grubbies. Do let me some grubbies. I'm gonna slow push this in. When I want to get a little reset, we'll buy. Man, it is a close match at mid. The set is just barely winning in set. Uh, Lux a bunch. That's a phase rush ghost flash set. I mean, look at that trade. That was just a brutal. out of here so we have sheen we can make use of sheen because of all jax's low cooldown abilities just spam his q and w over and over again for sheen procs as soon as we get trendy we just uh hard stomp him now he's gonna build armor but here's the thing jax does a lot of magic damage because of his w because of his r and if he builds armor we could build you know a little bit of ap get that adaptive on hit ap for extra on hit magic damage. I'm gonna keep the wave here. So again, slow push, look for big trade in this spot. And we can start looking for demolish procs too. So I did take bone planning uh, demolish just to try to smash lane as hard as possible. You could go scaling on Jax, like you could take scaling health. But I feel like a lot of Jax is getting to a point where you can beat them early, and then you can scale late, just because, you know, Jax is such a great scaler. So definitely playing around your runes and stuff for early game, very important. Waves a little bit off. I should have maybe crashed that one in. This one's got fire. Is now waves in a spot where maybe this on take a Jesus. But we'll see. We did take two turret shots. We could just get a TP right before the uh, dragon. Any good fishing spots round here? Not second like Nabo's doable. Hard to say. Hey, we got some good pressure. Isante's missing his cannon. I'm so close to Trinity. I have to take the back now. That way I can get my back before the grubs. Okay, so you avoid this push. Damn, we died. That sucks. I should have just taken the back. I think Shivana still gets him, and I can still TP. We can fight Grubs. Maybe Briar's looking. I get this here. Enemy double kill. 
I'm gonna TP and just demolish. Briar's bottom, not even going for uh, for the grubbies. Too. I got a uh, training force to just reset. Actually, my ult should be back up before his, so I can't fight. He built up my passive first. Yeah, getting a trade like that is pretty good. by Shiv. Good luck. Uh, let's see. Mid lane's pretty far behind. I think this Lux can always clear versus Sad. So Seth's got like this cheese like phase rush setup to set up uh, some all wins. We got six scrubs though. Desante, I believe, doesn't have TP. So I think I should be able to get this, especially with Demolish. Trinity and uh, in this game we could build Tabby so they're full AD. And uh, honestly, let's go Sundered Sky. So we can get some healing. We can go for some team fight potential. So the big thing about running Lethal Tempo is Lethal Tempo is like a great rune as long as you can get to your six stacks. So you need to make sure you're durable enough for your six stacks. If you go for like a full on hit build without enough HP, it actually ends up being bad. So you need the HP and durability uh, to be able to last long enough at the six stacks. To really do well. Man, I think we just auto him now, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I wasn't even trying to dodge the Quesante's uh, Q's there, because I just straight up beat him in all one. Oh, that's a. Uh, that is a Seraphine support with as much CS as the Tristana ADC. Interesting. Guess that we're splitting CS. Either way, I mean, that guy is really fed. Support item gives a lot of gold. He's got the support item uh, close to finishing out. That will go HP. Never felt defeated. Just go bottom. We're gonna go for this turret. The Lux can hold like the Kisante's got armor. The Lux can hold top. First Kisante pretty easily. I don't want to be leaning against two people. Learned every weapon, bested every opponent. Get this ability haste. So the ability haste I just picked up from these centers, by the way, that those five centers. Are worth uh, 250 gold of value. Every center gives you uh, five ability haste. Uh, what is my damage? Oh my god, that is just without even lethal stack, just hopping on him with full combo. Yeah, I think my QW just kills. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I don't even need to do anything. Oh, maybe I could have done the double charge trick. 
you guys ever seen the double charge trick where you start you charging like this turret's about to die you hop in the herald and charge towards the second turret and then you get two charges pretty freaking op nice That's a lot of true damage from set. Alright, well, we got center of the sky. Maybe I can go to the top. Just match uh, this guy. Come on. Um, let's go. Probably Sterics. And just get that durability, get that HP. Terex is really good for us right now because, you know, one Tenacity versus, uh, you know, Violet like Seraphine CC. Um, if Bart ends up hitting us with, with the uh, the Q, done from sets. Oh, we can just stick. Boldness is earned. Win after win. No board over here. Okay, he should not come out turret for me. Let's see, this guy's got striper or Swifties. Okay, I mean, just hop. I mean, my team is doing dragon, so the best thing for the enemy team to do is try to cross map and kill me topside. So that's why they have you know three people here. And Ross Lander, thank you for the Twitch Prime for 29 months. Thank you. So, maybe I can take a little bit of a trade. Just do something like that. He make sure not to commit too hard. So if your team's getting something for free opposite side of the map, don't greed and try to get something else on that side of the map, unless you're just giga strong. Like, let your team get get something for free opposite side of the map, like Dragon or whatever, and then you just chill topside. Very important while splitting, you do that. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, that's a settle down. What's going on here? Okay, uh, I guess uh, Shivana deals with him. Don't mind if I do. If we can't get more here. We got a lot of turrets. I mean, I guess they're close in kills, though. It's mostly on the, the Lux. Alright, so let's get Fort Sterics. So we, since we took bot tier 2 already, our primary objective as a split push champion is to get this top lane tier 2. This turret is worth 700 gold. So it's, it's worth more than 2 kills. Plus you're getting a bounty. So like, always prioritize these side lane turrets. Like, I think this turret's worth like 400 or something. But this turret, because it's on the side lane, is worth more. I decided they wanted to reward split pushers for uh, split pushing. That's why the side lane turrets are worth more. They like the idea of split push champs like Jax, Trin, Fiora. Getting extra gold. I was gonna shove in. I'm gonna rotate here actually. Same big time fight. So there's only two mid, so they could have potentially three here. Uh, Briar just respawned as well. Seeing a big time collapse. Okay. Maybe didn't need a flash reset, just wanna make sure he died for sure. No, he's do Baron. Burr might be in bot jungle. We'll have to see. Okay, she's covering top. 
do a lot of damage to this Baron. Second wish on a tank. I guess if I'm tanking, it's fine. If you tank, you do 50% less damage to uh, Baron. So if you're playing like Kai'Sa or another champion that just absolutely beats up Baron with percent health damage, then you want to make sure you're not the one tanking it. A Jax with Baron is probably the most broken thing in the game because Jax has such good ratios for attack damage and ability power. And since Baron gives attack damage and ability power, it just makes him even better. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna fight him. Saving my E in case uh, Brad comes over. Oh, it's like... No! Dang, I was trying to burst her. She used E right at the right time. Getting out of here. I've got Sterix. We can go uh, Shoujin. Again, more durability. Might be able to end the game here, even. We'll see. Uh, I'm gonna take this one Nexus turret. Okay, yeah, Kisanti's not even walking a base. Oh my gosh, that was a full stun lock. Between me and Pantheon. Alright, GG. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Lethal the Tempo's gonna be broken. Can't wait to try it on Trinmere. Hey guys, we're back at it again with Jax in the top lane with the Lethal Tempo buffs here on the PB. This time we got a Aatrox matchup, Ignite Flash. We got the Phase Rush set again. And we got the, uh, the Elise, my jungler. Four now on the enemy team. I thought war gave me issues. Both me and Aatrox kind of want to play for level three. I can use my uh, my counter strike to uh, nullify some of his damage and I just walk out of here before he can Q3. Looking good. Warriors, rulers, gods, they all bleed the same. Okay, I'm gonna play for level two here. I'm just gonna walk up. I'm gonna lead, trade with an auto attack. So we got one last auto attack there before we uh, collapse it in. Maybe we can set up a dive because how much damage we got. We'll see. So like, uh, least level two gang to bottom. Interesting fight. I gotta back up first. Hey, he has ignite, so he has no TP to reset lane. think we're okay nice so turrets before five minutes in the game and top and mid take i think like 83 percent less damage or something like that it's uh it's absolutely ridiculous so don't go trying to get a turret plate uh before five minutes it is just a complete waste of time so we got a uh a really good dive onto the atrox solo you know yeah Damn, the set is just on. The Mordekaiser are really crazy. Oh, that was a flash from set. I think maybe Mordekaiser showed up on the wave or something. We'll see. I am not sure. Wave shoving back. We see a collect uh, experience. No reason to fight here just because we know Lisa's topside. Probably on Scuttle right now. Damn, I think we're not bot. Leona Samira is a very strong combo. At least here. 23 CS. 
I'm gonna build up my passive and then I can look to fight the, the uh, Aatrox. Honestly, I took a lot of damage from minions there. I gotta be careful. Got his bone planning for, I mean, my bone planning too. Probably still has Ignite. FTP still. Trade kill, fine. Does this ignite and flash? We can uh, we can go phage here, kill a little bit of We got a TP to come back to lane so we don't miss much. That's uh, that's very worth for me. Like we'll take those. Yeah, three minute demolish proc does I think sixty damage. It's like nothing. At least is here, just non stop ganking Sorks first. Oh, missed that. Next, an ally has been slain. Nice, that is such a huge kill actually. So this Aatrox just loses so many minions for that. Good try, let's get grubs. This wave. Actually, let's go grab the plate. Might have to make another I think I'm fine. Okay, Seth's holding the wave. I'm just setting up this up so it can freeze. It's like he's just walking at me. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna walk away. That's fine with me. We'll just trade our resets. So we get this and this. We'll get this wave state for Aatrox, man. Also, the uh, my victory gets to catch up a little bit mid lane. We're in a really good spot. If you're the Aatrox, you're going AFK if that happens. Honestly, Aatrox might be AFK. I haven't seen him. Have you guys seen Aatrox? I don't know. I think I think he might be done. I mean, that's the kind of play that you can make top lane when you're in your head and the enemy's not playing for you. I mean, at least screwed over every single one of my lanes. She just played like bot mid heavy and is massive, but. Aatrox egoed a little bit. He died right before a big wave crashed into his turret, and now he's screwed. Yeah. Is the key to getting ahead just stacking him? Dax passive before fighting. Definitely if you're looking for an all-in. But you can still look for, like, you know, QW trades, especially if uh, Aatrox uses his stuff. It depends on the matchup. 
Ammo. Yeah, I, I think we legit just made Aatrox AFK. I mean, Aatrox can look at the rest of his team and be like, oh hey, the rest of my team is like hard winning. You know, maybe I can just build tappies and uh, chill. But, uh, you know, I don't know, man. Some, like, I think part of winning and like, and like learning how to play more consistent is knowing how to lose as well. And like lose respectfully in a way where like if your team does have advantages, you know, through like your jungler ganking them, to like pull out a win because your laner doesn't just go crazy. And like you know with me on um, freaking Jax of all champions, especially with the lethal buff, it's pretty unfortunate for me team. Wow, oh, Pain just double killed him. That we get just sprint around the map. Um, I think, I mean, I'm going to build Merc Treads actually. And then we'll build, uh, I'll build Sunder Sky again. Let's get the CDR. Merc Treads just to stop this pin and all their CC. A lot of their CC I can ignore because I can, um, I can Counter Strike the Leona's Q, for example. But it's still pretty OP. So a little trick on Jax you can do is if you activate Counter Strike while you're mid auto, and then reactivate your Counter Strike right when your Trinity Force comes up off cooldown, and like don't just let it go, like literally um, recast it. You can get two stacks of Trinity Force on the same E. You get a lot of freaking damage. Guy looks mighty free, boy. You're welcome. Let's get some damage. Dodge her Q somehow. Your team has destroyed a turret. Oh my gosh, I dodged her range Q as well. <laughs> Wait a second, guys, the least got fogged. <laughs> at least got fogged, man. Oh no, <laughs> plus we got the turret. Victor responded late to my TP. No. <laughs> Wait, the bounty was 668 gold? What's this new bounty system about? Cisco bottom, we'll breach bottom. We're just gonna walk around the map with uh, six grubs. Take everything. Yo, these cannons are unlucky. Honestly, they're fighting over here. I'm just gonna keep pushing. I mean, for, first and foremost, I'm splitting with six grabs in front of me. Now, if they look to stop me, then I can head over there. Yeah, I surrender. GG's. Well, Jax is so broken, you can just uh, make the enemy top lane AFK. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Catch y'all later. Bye, everybody. Like and subscribe.